Coming to you from Grazia Apartments, my name is Kabagire Crystal, and we're bringing to you our show In Style, my your favorite show that you always watch every Monday uh, at 6.15 and every Saturday at 7.30. Well, this time we have much, much on our set. We do have Gabiro Guitar as our interviewee, an artist who sings in a way, oh, his music is like more of a, a dance hall, dance hall music, a kind of conscious music. Then we're gonna have a look tip, then we're gonna have a smash look, and of course end the show with the trends well we're going to take you back to the to to the trends where we're going to talk about techno's concert and plenty more well let me not spoil the fun why don't you see all that with the coming ups then we'll be right back coming up next we have the interview with gabiro guitar telling us more on his journey through the musical career and the style of music in his songs and not forgetting to talk about his biggest sense of style from there we shall proceed our show with a smash look and here we're going to talk about a nigerian artist techno smile who looked good at the my 250 concert all oh, his outfit was on point from there we shall continue the show with the look tip and here we'll be giving guidance to people on what to wear to a concert and from there we shall end the show with the current trends and fashion shows that have been happening in the fashion world and here we're talking about an event that will kind of the past weekend and here we're talking about the my 250 concept that was the main place to be over the past weekend let's start off our show with the interview and our interviewee of this week is gabiro guitar he is here to tell us more on his career he's going to tell us his journey through the tasker project fm you remember last back back in the days he was one of the Randys who went to represent Rwanda at the Tasca Project FM and he's gonna tell us more in his career him spending seven years in the musical career what has he achieved what has he seen his music where is his music now well we're gonna see that shortly with him on our interview well let's see him as our interviewee <laughs> Well, it's a great honor to be here. I feel so blessed to be part of this show. I've always been, you know, enjoying this show, like, since the first time, like, I saw you on TV, and I think it's one of the best shows, uh, you know, I can be part of. The pleasure is all mine. <laughs> you also look fashionable anyway. Thank you. you I also knew that I had to come. <laughs> I also knew that I had to, to come, come in this show, because it's an in-style show, then I had to come look composed. Of course. I really enjoyed this thing, you know, I thought about it before, you know, I come to this show. I, I knew that I was, I you know. I had to be also fashionable. Yeah, I, I knew that I had to bring something to the table, right? Definitely. And, and this is me, what you see is what you get. Exactly. Most deaf. Yes. <laughs> so, Gabiro Guitar, you've been in the musical industry in Rwanda for about seven years. Yeah. You participated in Tasca Project FM. Mm -hmm. You were among the top, actually. And I will hear this takes me to a question. Uh, tell me about your experience as as you started music. I think you started after the uh, Tasca Project FM. That is, where was actually a path for you to start your musical career in yes. Rwanda. Yes. Tell me, how far have you gotten right now? Well, uh, it was it was one of the best experience I've ever had in my life. It was something that you know, actually, Tasca Project FM launched me. So I was I was very at a, at a young age. I wanted you know something that can you know I wanted a platform that can make me you know blow to the you know to the to this music industry thing. So I really enjoyed the experience. The experience was not that good because I was I was still like a, you know at that level that you know I really wanted something like a support another support I had to you know it, it was such a huge opportunity for me to handle it was something that I could not easily you know captivate to get what I'm saying so but here I am yes. I took that experience I'm now using it on the ground I'm here representing Gabiro as a brand so it is what it is now I'm feel so blessed I'm one of the few who have you know, try you know to to make it more live, like you know, to get to that mainstream. So it is what it is now. I'm I'm feel so blessed now. Yeah. You know, um, here we're talking about the Rwandan musical career. Mm. Uh, I feel like back in the days, uh, it was really hard for someone to do music because we didn't really have the, the the requirements to do the music, or we didn't have really the 
the promoting way of promoting our own music and of course our music never used to get out you know mm. of recent we can even see uh, random music on, on uh, chess music you yes. can see random yes. music on different channels and it's something it's really a, 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 a big step that we've taken in but mm. i feel like people or should i say artists are still complaining that the musical career needs improvement do you think it's so true or you think you guys are already suffering you see me, my 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 strategy, uh, business wise, eh, me I don't complain. Mm. I always push, always push, 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 push. Cause me, I'm I'm out there to learn, to, you know, to work, you know, yeah, to inspire also. Mm. To, I, I want to leave a legacy at the end. So uh, complaining, it is something that can never get you somewhere. The more you complain the more you focus on your weakness. When you keep telling yourself no, you always get no. Mm. So me, I'm, I'm very positive yes. about what I'm doing. I'm here working. Mm. So it, you cannot blow in one day. Yes. It takes years and years. Mm. So you just have to, you know, to keep putting to, to work every single day. Mm. So complaining is, there is complaining and complaining yourself. Yes. So it, it is something, comparing is even uh, a tip of joy. Yeah. Those, you know, those ethics can never get you somewhere. Yeah. Those, those are just bad ethics mm. for the, you know, for the business. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Go back to you. Your music, you have a new song called Special. Special. It just dropped actually. Guys, yeah. it dropped. You guys have to go on any social media. I think uh, uh, YouTube, they can always YouTube, find the yeah. video. So it's a very beautiful video, beautiful song. Why, why, why do you find so special from that video when you watch it? I find, I find the video, um, it's very creative. There's a the lot car, of creativity. The girl? N <laughs> not, not only the car and the girl, I like also the blue dim light that was, I don't know, in the club when the girls were dancing. Hey, that, that was... That was in the house. We we we, we put the, those lights together. That dis, that we try like to yeah. But in a bluish color. Actually, that's where I stay. We we did it at, at my my at my yard. Your yeah. at, your, at your front yard. Yeah. So here, I want you to tell me more about about, about, about the video. How long did it take you to do the video? How it took many? Me how how? Who, where did you think the the girl, the main character in the video, had to be the main girl in the in the song? Actually, me, I'm more about what selling. That guy has and something. Are you the one? Are you, you're gonna tell me all that, and you're gonna tell me who shot the video, um, and only who shot the video, then if you're the one who composed the song, or you had someone helping you out. Okay, let me let me take you, let me take you way back, mm. from where I started. You know, from where that song came from. And the idea. The exactly. idea. Actually, I have a new guy, a new guy in the, in the corner, a guy called Papito. He's a good producer anyway. He's a he's new to this thing. But that guy is he's, he's not a bad style. He's he's he has something new. Something he has that sound which is very familiar, you know, to this international sound, which is what we have been lacking in this industry. So guy composed that song. I also helped him. But actually, he, he is the one who, you know, who, who brought me from, you know, from the Carolina, those, you know, those alphabet songs to that love song. Okay. Now here, we're going to talk about the fashion in the, in the video. How, who dressed you? Are you the one who chose your main clothes? Do you have a stylist yeah. who helped you to pick up what to wear in the video? Or Mariva is also the person who helped you that with the style no, and the no. fashion in the, in the video? No, no. I, I will, for me, I always stand for, for, for. I always stand the difference. Like I always try, like to you know, to just bring out the best of me, the best version of myself. Because I, I also worked with with so many uh, artists. Like I, I've worked with with, with a guy called uh, Lion Freddy. We even used. A, a, a location. Yeah, because there's, there's, there's a lot of location. There's there's you in a, in a boutique where they sell shoes and clothes. Yeah, that, that boutique is called uh, Lion Shop, mm -hmm. Lion Store, yeah. Lion Store. It's from uh, Freddy. Has been so helpful. Mm -hmm. I'm so thankful. So that means Lion's boutique is that dressed you. Yes, I, I also have another guy. My my main guy, mm -hmm. a guy called uh, Omar. 
Mal, he's, a, he's a designer. He's a stylist. He's also, yeah, he's a, he's a, yeah, he's a stylist. Okay. Thank you for, for, for he, correcting me. Yeah, he's a stylist because mm. he puts everything together for you. Yeah. So, and this takes us to the question, the main question we keep asking our guests who will be on InStyle, because this is actually the main question that we keep asking people because mm. InStyle is a show that talks about fashion. We mm. always want to know about celebrities' sense of fashion. As Gabiro, Peter. Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you like? What 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 do you like wearing? What is that special uh, fashion accessory that you can't leave home without? What do you wear on a weekend? What do you wear in everyday life? We want to know about your fashion. Anyway, me I'm an easy guy. I just you know. You keep it simple. And <laughs> yeah, I keep it simple. Uh, you know, I I'm not a showing golf guy. Yeah. I just you know, like I don't like to look cheap. But I also, you know, don't want to, you know. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know whether I know myself too much. But when it, you know, when it comes to to fashion and style, mm. but I just know that I always come correct. Mm. Like I, I think, like you just have to know yourself more mm. and try also, you know, to to understand you and you know to embrace yourself in everything you do because for me I'm a, I'm more of a spiritual guy than than a materialistic guy so you see I might look like this today but tomorrow I might look like gangster or something because I, I always I always plan before before I wear something like if I if if I know that today I'm going to make up Christelle, Christelle I know I have to come correct in, in, in some, you know, if it's fashion, I know what to dress what up. To dress I know if, it, if I need to sell people who are, who are you know, who are, yeah, yeah, you see those people cultivate, like people who are very, you know, yeah, if, if, I, if I need to look corporate, that means I need to sell corporate people. Me, I'm all about what's selling anyway. Yeah. So if I have to look, you know, like a Most G, street. yeah. I, I look like that mm -hmm. for the purpose. Mm -hmm. So everything is all about you know what you want people to you know to you know to take you. Yeah, actually that's that's how I am. But but I also like that. I also go for the for the big names when it comes you know to buy clothes and something. I, I go for the good brands. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I go for the big brands. Yeah. I'm a big fan of Gucci, of Louis V, mm -hmm. uh, and also uh, when it comes to shoes. Jordans, my favorite. So you're more of a, of a casual, casual person. Okay, here uh, we're going a little different. We're going to ask you uh, five facts about you that we don't know. Yeah. First thing, I'm so romantic. That's my. He's romantic. Ladies. That's my weakest. He is romantic. That's my weakest. So you know where to find him. Okay. I, I I'm very friendly. Yeah, I'm very friendly. Like. We, we connected, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I tried a lot. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Hopefully, like, yeah. you know. So when satisfaction, you know what's a satisfaction? Out to you like a queen, heavy like a day, heavy like a day now. Do some loving like you never seen before, like you never seen before now. Continue our show with the smash look, and our smash look is still Tecto Mild at the concert. He looked really, really amazing on what he was wearing. He wore a pair of jeans, skinny jeans, with a t shirt, and of course, a pair of sunglasses. And his hair, of course, this time around, his hair is different. He normally tints his hair, he always changes his hair and the colors and everything. But this time around, he had plated his hair and his performance was amazing and he looked really good as a performer or should I say as an artist because artists they always make statement when it comes to their performance and their appearance he is amazing well Techno Miles looked good at the performance and we thought he could be a smash look well let's see Techno Miles as our smash look and our smash look goes to Techno Miles Mr. Slim Daddy who just flew in Kigali for the My 250 concert that made all the round 20 a little hyped Coming from Kenya to give the Rondis another massive performance, Techno arrived at the venue a little late than the time people expected him to come, but that couldn't stop his fans to walk under the drizzling evening just to go see their favorite, favorite star Slim Daddy. 
When he stepped on stage, the screaming started. He was dressed in a pair of skinny jeans and flat flip clothes and a black t-shirt at the and a pair of sunglasses to swag up the look. He looked all set up for the performance and fresh for his fans and not for and not forgetting to talk about the hair. It was all a new hairstyle he did compared to the one he had in Kenya and looked fresh as usual. With a tremendous performance, Miles closed the show with his recent single, Go, that made all the ladies go gaga. And I looked up here, we're gonna focus on what to wear at a concert. You know, people have trouble when they wanna go to a concert, they wonder, should I wear, wear heels? Should I wear flats? Should I do these? Well, here, I'm gonna tell you, first things first, you have to know where the location of where the concert is gonna take place, and that is gonna picture for you what you need to wear when you're gonna go for a concert. If it's a place where it's grassy, you don't need to wear high heels. If it's a place that is flat, you can always go with your high heels and look chic. And you can, when you, you, you even have to know what type of concert am I going to and different different more well here we're gonna give you guidance on what to wear at a concert and how you have to look for the specific concert well let's see that and our look tip of this week we're going to focus on what to wear at a concert for Doi Heart music lovers out there, this year is a big one for concerts. From Techno Miles Lion King Tour, which kicked off last month, to Runtown's much anticipated blowout this month, we are still trolling Subhub to find tickets. Planning our Jump Fest calendar is highly on our priority list, but as on trend style settlers, picking what to wear to a respective concert is just as important as the music itself. So we extensively sift through this year's lineup and found tons of clothes for every type of personality. Headed to country extravaganza last year this month, skip the cowboy boots and skin tight denim for sophisticated front and snake skin. You're in a pop princess in bold color and ultra fun accessory and we do mean perfect outfit for the most fabulous concert of the year 27. Is there a bigger concert this year? We want to be comfy, style and dare we say. Ready for some romance? So expect to see more or paired with boyfriend jeans and shimmery flats, we think the Hello Singers would approve hip hop. October and November never fail to disappoint in the fashion department, so why would we a mess top match with leather uncles? Pants totally push the envelope, which a snake skin and boyish white sneaker adds to a streetwear touch, finish with a full far blue jacket. Rock. Abroad when Adam Levine and the rest of the Maroon 5 star belts out the heat, February to October expect, expect our best model of duty uniform, a leather like jacket, slouchy white tee and distressed black jeans are cool without being try hard. Save your heels for the ox blood Dr. Martin and your basically Let's proceed the show with the trends and here we're focusing on the my 250 concert that happened sunday with the big star that everyone has been waiting for for and that is techno miles techno miles took some time he came a little bit late but that couldn't spoil the fun because his fans were there waiting for him to show up he came in with a lot of energy he had a massive massive performance and trust me everyone was really really uh, mesmerized about his performance and everyone who was at the show they had to from the show they had to go straight to pack in for the after party it was such an amazing concert you're gonna see it right now Nigerian musician Techno, real name Augustin Miles, was trending last week after Kenyan took to social media to complain about his performance in Nairobi. However, the artist gave a winning performance at the My 250 concert on September 10th, perhaps as a way of redeeming himself for the dismal performance in Kenya. The Nairobi concert took place on September 9th and was titled with a wave with techno man. The musician is currently signed to Made Men Music Group and his hit included Pana, Yahweh, Rara, Duro, Diana, B and Go. Kenya took to social media to lambast the singer for the lazy playback performance which was marred by disagreement between the artist and DJ Creme de la Creme. Techno accused the Kenyan DJ of messing his performance. With negative reviews going vital, many in Kigali thought his show here would also be a disappointment. Those who showed up for the concert became even more skeptical after the singer failed to fly into the country on Sunday morning. 
A scuffle ensured between organizers and journalists who were tired of waiting for hours for the singer to arrive. Techno arrived later. With just an hour to the show, organizers told journalists that his delay was due to the artist not feeling well and having to take medication before heading to Kigali. Kigali revealer Sam, as young as 16, flocked to the venue at the Kigali Conference Exhibition Village as early as 5 p.m. The My 250 concert, which was organized by Brainwave and Positive Production, was married by organizational issues started with the singer's late arrival. Setbacks. There were problems with the sound system plus the stage was quite small making it difficult for those with regular tickets to see techno. This saw some people in the regular sector stories, the VIP sectors which was separated by the pockets. The organizers made sure to show pictures and videos of techno arising, arriving at the Kigali International Airport on a bigger screen perhaps to reassure the anxious crowd. Performance kicked off with Bruce Melody performing for 30 minutes. He sang some of his popular songs like Kenya and the Kwanga next on stage with Lillian Babasi. Former Blue 3 singer who has relocated to Rwanda from Uganda gave an energetic performance together with Burundian singer Kiki Touré and his band. Techno took to the stage at around midnight to an excited crowd. The hard fans, mainly young women, were as they squeaked and they squeaked and screamed for the star with some rushing to the stage and had to be retained by the security. Techno performed the first few songs live with his band Mind Way Swift to the same live performance. He sang and danced for the crowd for about an hour and a half. He performed all his songs from Yahweh, Samantha, Pana, Wash, Duro, Diana and concluded with his Hiko, which he performed twice. Techno did not do any sound check or rehearsal ahead of the show as so possibility of the full live performance was unlikely. Well, that is all we had for you today. Hope you catch up the show on Saturday at a repeat at 7.30. Uh, we always not go without saying a very big thank you to Grazia Apartments for always hooking us up with a beautiful venue. Hope you like our page on Facebook and Bunty. Ciao, ciao.